wreak many of its eloquent aims and angers. For these reasons, it is a key to the crisis. The FLQ Manifesto. The Front de Libération du Québec is not the Messiah, nor a modern-day Robin Hood. It is a regrouping of Quebec workers. In the late 1960s, dissent was brewing in the Canadian province of Quebec. For years the province had been floundering in unemployment, and the recent independence grants to other countries in the world led to Quebec becoming increasingly separatist, as some may argue that they, quote, never felt like a part of Canada. Prior to the events in October 1970, the new revolutionary movement, the FLQ, or Front de Liberation du Quebec, had already committed over 200 criminal acts including bombings and robberies. On October 5th, they committed their boldest act when they kidnapped British Trade Minister James Cross from his home in Quebec. The hostile group demanded the release of several FLQ agents held in prison, half a million dollars, and their manifesto to be broadcasted on the Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. The broadcast was made to millions of Canadians. Their actions only got bolder, as on October 10th they also kidnapped Quebec's Minister of Labour and Immigration, Pierre Laporte. Fearing for the safety of their other members of public office, the Quebec provincial government requested the Canadian government for assistance by sending in the Canadian Armed Forces. A day later, on October 16th, the government heeded their call and Prime Minister Pierre Elliott Trudeau passed the War Measures Act, which was once a law in Canada's constitution that allowed for Canada's military to be deployed in the event of national threat. The Liberal government stated that Quebec was in a state of, quote, apprehended insurrection. The FLQ was outlawed in Quebec following the soldiers being deployed and over 450 people were detained by the military. At the end of this video, I will include a segment from an interview with Trudeau in regards to the War Measures Act being passed. Unfortunately, the military was too late to save one of the hostages, and on October 17th, Pierre Laporte's body was found in the trunk of a car near St. Hubert Airport. In December 1970, James Cross was found alive and his release was negotiated in return for safe passage to Cuba. The other cell of the FLQ which held the now dead Pierre Laporte was also found, and its members were arrested and given harsh sentences, life in prison for all involved in this cell. To this day the use of the War Measures Act in this crisis has both been praised and criticized. But regardless, the tragic events in October 1970 left a scar on Canadian politics and relations with Quebec which persisted throughout the remainder of the 20th century and even today. As promised, here is the sample from the CBC interview with Prime Minister Trudeau in 1970. In the kind of society that you yeah, live in. Well, there's a lot of bleeding hearts around who just don't like to see people with helmets and guns. All I can say is uh, go on and bleed, but it's more important to keep law and order in this society than to uh, uh, be worried about uh, weak-kneed people who uh, don't like the looks of, uh, of a at, at any feminine. cost? At any cost? How far would you go with that? How far would you extend that? Well, just watch me. If you enjoyed the following presentation, please subscribe for more great videos like